The majority of Japanese people hold to the traditional beliefs of Japanese Shinto. Interestingly, it is not a strict form of doctrine or religion, but an established system of authority introduced by its gods. It originated in the 7th century AD from the writings of Nippon Shoki and the Kojiki. These ancient texts introduce the gods of Shinto. This period also saw the introduction of the emperor family, its ultimate authority. Even though the gods and royalty introduced in these foundational Shinto texts are considered to be the official Shinto gods of the Japanese, there are countless numbers of gods in this religion. Japanese Shinto is very animistic and often looks to nature for its gods, the mountain god, the river god, the sea god and many other elements of nature are deitized. These are the types of gods the Japanese people are accustomed to and lift up as deity to be worshipped. We find it is much easier to worship tangible gods, ones that can be seen and acknowledged. This is what comes most natural to us in our culture. We also believe that the imperial household was born or sanctioned by the Shinto gods. This is where it gets its authority and is thus deitized and reverenced by the Japanese people. Therefore, the political power was extraordinary and unquestioned throughout Japan. In the same way, the historical imperial court and shoguns of the Edo period were said to have received their authority and appointment from the Shinto gods. It was during this time that Japan is said to have become a country, unified through its unanimous recognition of Shinto origins a true Shinto nation. Actually, I used to be a devoted follower of Shinto. I worshipped the sun goddess, Amaterasu Omikami, as God and Lord of my life. I also acknowledged the blue dragon god, Sadayujin, as my guardian deity. I believed that I received great power from these gods. I was young and used this to my perceived advantage. I was into all kinds of wickedness, empowered by my Shinto gods. This was the kind of person I was before coming to know Christ. My older sister gave me a Bible. As I began to read it, a particular passage in John penetrated my heart. Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It was then that I began to acknowledge Jesus Christ as God.